very much. So you've been to town. What's tell us before we watch the video. Well, the mood is crazy. I'll say so. Not crazy in per se, but electrifying. I mean, we're on the street of Busu. We also went to Italy. Gone close to the Abedepele area. And you should see the jamboree over there. It mm. also shows that, hey, what a day to be a Ghanaian. What a Tuesday to be a Ghanaian. It's a golden Tuesday. Yes, yeah, certainly. And uh, we cannot ignore the fact that it's a 78th birthday. We'll show you the montage. Let's see the video that Johnny got for us. Let's, let's see what Johnny got in town. Let's have a look. I told you earlier that the match will go be one hour. One hour, so you qualify. I told you from the beginning. So I'm, how they play the match? Why you okay? Why you start? Yeah, we are okay. The only thing I win is we win, then we qualify. That's all. Uh, today, they're going to have the, the boys they don't do good. They, what they do, they do, they do, make, I make happy. I don't, I don't feel know what I'm going to say. Charlie, they make me happy. Today, they are. Hey, five friends, five friends, five friends. Oh, very nice. Very fantastic. We yeah, enjoy the game. That is the game. Yeah. Oh, up for the game is nice, but oh, God, we thank God that they have won the match. Oh, hey, Massa, so much, really. I already said, Nigeria, for no, they don't love no, we will give them some. <laughs> We are very excited, we are very happy. What Ghana did, I swear. We are sure that this year we take the cup, the World Cup, we are bringing it home. Ghana is going to do everything quick. We, are, we really appreciate what the guys did. They played a lot of work, they really did work, but more of them to them, more of to them. They are very excited. Oh, me, I know we are going to qualify. I know definitely we will qualify. But the goals that I don't know. But to me, I know we are going to find a way to, to qualify. And then the other day. The Okay, so a lot is going on over there. Now tell us, so what, what should we be doing? The, when is the draw? Well, <clears throat> when it has to be the, the World Cup draw. The, the World Cup draw. Yeah, the World Cup. But, uh, FIFA will have to take a decision because of so some of the matches have not been played. Yeah, remember what is happening in Ukraine with Russia here mm -hmm. and there. So they have to wait because the match involving uh, Poland and Ukraine has been postponed. So that affects whatever. What about Russia itself? Um, Russia, uh, a decision has to take him. It has to be an emergency by FIFA to take a decision on Russia because they have been suspended from almost every football activity because of what Vladimir Putin decided to do in Kiev. Yeah, but Putin threatened that if Russia doesn't go to the World Cup, there will be no World Cup at all. <laughs> Quite interesting. I mean, <laughs> let's not get into world politics, but as an international student politics, uh, studying politics, um, I find it very disgraceful what has happened to the world. We, should, we shouldn't get there. I don't want to get to the nitty gritty. We shouldn't even get so, in there. So had Russia already qualified? No, not yet. How many games did they have to play? Um, it left with two games for Russia to qualify. They should have played their first game before this very playoffs. They have not done that. And we have to wait to see what happens. So were they leading their group? Um, I think they, they finished second. But they, they qualified as part of those who had to play the playoffs. The playoffs, okay. Yeah. okay. So there's a playoff game like we played Nigeria. There's a playoff game for Russia to play. Yeah. As of now, today, today to like date, um, I think Portugal played against North Macedonia and they've qualified. Some, 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 some teams are still playing to qualify in Europe. But for so Russia, we don't have a date for the draw? Uh, not yet. Not yet. It should have been done, in, I think, in Ju end of July. Yes. But because of what happened, I think I distracted almost every program what has happened in between Russia and Ukraine. Originally, so, supposed to so we can't do July. the draw in May? Um, remember that Russia would have to play some, some teams, and that would not be their final take to go to the World Cup. They should have played a particular team before going to their final place. So that will not happen now. Uh, but the World Cup draw usually occurs in December before the June. But this time Six clear months before this the, time, the This World time Cup. around, we are going to play the World Cup between November and December. So six months everything from then. Change, everything changed. You know the calendar yeah, changed. I know, but six months before then, it's yeah. sometime around May. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if we don't have the draw by May, how do we prepare? OK. The key thing is that things got distracted totally. Things got distracted totally. And FIFA held a series of meetings Again, you should remember that earlier on, they were also even thinking of the Biennial World Cup, which was another issue that cropped up. Mm -hmm. So things got distracted. They have to take the decision by close of July. So the World Cup final draw is likely to take place in July, but it's, as, as we're sitting now, it might be changing. 
Okay, but what do you think the protests from Egypt can, can do? Do you think there's a... There's a and the, the television um, coverage yeah. clearly show the laser greens, uh, green signal, signal like a light I'm, I'm running I, through even the before, penalty area. Even before, Paul, you, you finish this question, I'm quite surprised that the Egyptians are, are, are complaining because when you go to the Northern African area, they started using this, uh, how do you call this it, this laser, light. Laser They've been using it. I'm, quite, I'm surprised that this has come up. But does FIFA have any uh, pronouncement on it? Does FIFA have some regulations? Every now? international match this is played is under FIFA. And even during international matches, the North Africans, the likes of Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, they try to distract the other opponents. So I'm not, su I'm, I'm surprised at all, totally. But that will depend on the match commissioner's report. How's, how's, how's the penalties going for Cameroon, please? I need to know. Algeria is leading. Yeah. Algeria is leading on penalties. On extra time. Extra time. So oh, they've not done penalties yet. You can't, they no, announced no, yeah. that they've done. I think penalties. it was the second. Algeria first, have first scored, yeah. so it's one one. Yeah. 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 So it's one one on the ninth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm really praying Cameroon can go through. So we have that, more. That, that would be more very nice for West Africa. West African countries. Yeah, very, very. Uh, because Ghana and Nigeria had to sacrifice one, uh, which was bad. Both back, of us could have gone through. Back, but we to, had your to, question, back, back to your question. Back to your question. I think uh, it depends on what the match reports will send to FIFA or CAF first before FIFA, mm -hmm. whether that issue of the laser light will be. But I don't think it, it, it will be an issue. It but Egypt scored a penalty. So they, they did. But what does the what's the complaint? What does the laser do? So you do, they don't see the goalpost? <laughs> Funny, I don't have too much. Um, I call it technology. No, aspect on penalty. That one. I was delighted for Sadio Mane that he had to take the last penalty. He had to score. The stadium has so much confidence. As in a him. Liverpool fan, I'm, I'm worried. By the way, That's the when he when he stood up, <laughs> I'm worried. By the way, because remember that he had beaten him to the how do you call it the African Cup of Nation trophy, mm. and there he goes again. My only happiness is that. That slot is coming to West Africa again, but for Mo Salah. So now there are two West Africans in the uh, in the five. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, Morocco is in already. Morocco Tunisia is in. Yeah. M M uh, Mali failed to, to qualify. They were beaten by Tunisia, so they are out of it. How, how was the scoreline? I think it was one nil. Remember that Tunisia won in Bamako, so they ended goalless oh. too in Tunis. Oh, well, Tunisia won in Bamako and ended goalless in Tunis. Yeah, that's it. So Tunisia goes through it was a at the expense of Mali. That's it. Was a close shape. Oh, very, very close shape. And Cote d'Ivoire were eliminated by Cameroon. Yeah, certainly. Oh. So it's just Ghana, Nigeria, and Senegal. That's the only opportunity. If yeah. Cameroon don't go through tonight, and they have a few minutes to do that. Yeah, yeah. But, but if Cameroon were to equalize and is 1-1, one, one, what happens? Um, no, it's 1-1 one, one now. One, 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 if one, Cameroon one. score 2-1, they go through. They yeah, go yeah, through yeah, on their because, way goal yeah, I will, because they, got, yeah, they have yeah. two goals. Remember because that. Have, to be 1-0 over all, there, to yeah. be 2-2, two, two, and Cameroon goes yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. So Cameroon need a winning goal. If they win, everything changes at all, and they qualify. Uh, yeah, if they, if they get a goal, then that's yeah, it. That's okay. it. Yeah. Wow. We're praying for them for that. Anyway, so uh, what about our team? You saw the Grusa issue. Yeah. Uh, did, did, did we not get the impression from the authorities that uh, Chris Hilton was going to be the coach of the team? Oh, let, me, let me tell you something. Sometimes these information are classified. Maybe you have to disclassify it, then Elijah Grusa will get the news. Because as journalists, we're made to know that this was what was a blueprint. That after the qualifiers, if it goes through, or even if we don't qualify for the World Cup, the gentleman who used to be in charge of Brighton is likely to get a job or be given a job. We're meeting you know, a full-time job, yes. Yeah. The point was that Otto Addo was part of the technical yeah. team with uh, Milovan Ryavic. And so they wanted, GFA's suggestion was that let's keep Otto Addo in. Yeah. Otto Addo has a full-time job, by the yeah, way, at, at Dortmund, Dortmund yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So he's most likely to return to Dortmund. Yeah. But I think I like his composure on the, on the bench. And uh, I mean, whenever the photograph, the, uh, the video goes to the bench and it's a black person, African, it kinda, it's kind of reassuring, isn't it? Okay, yeah. let me tell you something. I think Otuado knows the Ghanaian system. Though he was not born in Ghana, he was born in Germany, raised in somewhere one Dortmund here and there. He knows the Ghanaian system. So I've played the Blaster before. I know the chemistry that goes around the Blaster. I remember that he took it to a few matches before he went to the World Cup in 2006. But he knows the Ghana, Diana, the character, the, uh, I mean, everything that surrounds the blast that comes. So we say, okay, let me learn from the folks that are just new to the team and let's carry on through. So I'm not surprised. Oh, I'm hearing, hearing Cameroon have scored. In Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing Cameroon have scored. Viewers, great yeah. news. Yeah. Yeah. Cameroon have scored with a few minutes to go. I wish I could see the goal. My goodness. Awal, have you seen the goal? <laughs> Awal, you should go and see the goal. Go to the office and see the goal. <laughs> No, take yeah. a while to the office. Let him see. They go, oh, I wish I could run to Well, back office. to what we're saying. I'm saying that... Can I go and see? You, you talk. Can I <laughs> Very soon. I like I'm sure we'll I'll have the I'll see the goal. We'll take a break. I'll go and see the goal. Be because if Cameroon have scored, then there's a few minutes left. Let me know how many yeah, minutes Yeah, because left. we're playing the second half. 
extra time almost gone. Yeah, all right. Gone, so yeah. Cameroon will go through on that account. Yeah, certainly. Having Cameroon beaten uh, Algeria by two, two one. Yeah, two in, one in Algiers. Yeah. fantastic. That's great play. news for Am amazing. Samuel Leto will be will be over the moon. The first person that will be happy just like Anado is Paul Bia, the president of, of Cameroon. Cameroon. Yeah, yeah remember he, that he, he, he hosted the rest of Africa. He was thinking, okay, this should be my last day. Let me win the Africa nomination. It didn't happen. Qualifying for the World Cup is great news for the but people. But Samuel Leto is the president of the of FA. Of course, yes. And, and he he would. He Paul Bia, the like. old man, will be more happier than Samuel Leto. Mm, I yeah. see. I see. I hope it ends like that. Few minutes to go, though. Cameroon should go through. You see, I said that we are praying for that. As for prayer, it works. Oh, Charlie. Prayer. You are really on fire today. Eh? No, prayer there works. As for <laughs> prayer, prayer works. As for the evil people. Okay, but talking to the blaster repent. going forward, I think, mm -hmm. um, yes, the issue of whether we're looking for more players to come and play for the blaster, we have to restrict a little bit. Mm -hmm. From what we've seen now, Otoro seems to have gotten what he wants. Maybe he has to bring in some, uh, some few players who needed no, to be drafted. No, we need to put the ball in the net. Okay. Our but maxmanship. It's, it's the most great. crafted area that we're worried about prior to this qualifier was the central defense. That seems to have been sorted with Amate and That, that, that problem Juku is okay. Yeah, it's sorted. fine. Yeah. But we need uh, the shadow person to do that. And mm. maybe, just maybe, you go for the man from St. Mary's. That is Salisu. Now that we've qualified for the World Cup, just maybe, maybe, the folks in Kumasi will have to convince that, hey, my guy, the job is done by somebody. When you come, you compliment the team. So that's what we need to do. What then, about Tariq Lamte? I'm really looking for him. I want to see him um, on the left path doing the things that Kojo Samoa used to do for the Blacks. Doing very well at Brighton. We all appreciate yes, what yes, he yes, does. Yes, I yes. saw the last match he played against Chelsea. He did very, very well. But his, very vision, well. his sense of vision yeah. and his decision making on the field. It's amazing. We really need him at the left back. That's a young chap. He's yeah. doing very, very well when it comes to the EPL. We have to convince him, send a delegation from here to London. Yeah, so but maybe but we, are, when, we are in the World Cup, so, so maybe it's when you, Maybe when you're part of it, you might convince him to come, maybe. <laughs> no, but but that would be a good action, by but, the way. But yeah, we need title. Yeah. Game over. Cameroon in. Okay. Super. Okay, so don't, don't go anywhere. It's 10 15 now. Wait yeah. for our final analysis on the touch screen uh, telling us who and who have qualified. Uh, I was happy that Jordan Ayu was started, not because I was impressed with his game in Kumasi. I wasn't. Uh, but the kind of uh, booing and bashing that he got, I, was, I thought that psychologically the, the team needed to support him. So I was very excited that I saw him starting. And I was even super excited that I saw him taking off at halftime so that the team is not giving him away. We're not throwing him to the dogs. Paul, who's his We're, father? Abedi is, is a Abedi Pele. Mentally tough. Yeah. That's what he's got. I'm yeah. sure he's been talking to his buddy there. You, he knows the repercussions of going to play for the Blaster when it doesn't go very well. So he was mentally and physically ready for all these things. I'm not surprised that he was able to continue. I was hoping that Kudus would show up again today because when I saw him in Babaya, I thought to myself for the first time since Abedi Pele stopped playing, yeah. this, is, this is another Abedi Pele we're That's getting. That's a mass man. He's a playmaker. The only problem yes. they have in Kumasi was that he held on to the ball for far too long. But today he didn't do today that Today he didn't well. come to the party. Why? Because like, just like um, Nuru said, the Nigerian studies the ball play, they needed to close in arm. You remember that two people were marking him and they find it very very difficult to operate the system was that Pate didn't help him too much to release the ball quickly when we're moving forward i'm sure the lives of uh, houston and co will resolve that issue but today he didn't come to the party yeah, but um the uh, i was happy for afena jan as well having been promoted recently yeah. and thank you to jose moreno yeah. who encouraged him to come and play for the black stars and this is his first experience with the black stars it's such a it's such a happy experience i'm very happy for him that he can take his role and, and secure it but we need Kudus coming up to grow into the Abedi Pele that we used to know. He really has everything. I, I'm, I'm very I think we have that. time to, to the World Cup. We have time to, to prepare very well for the World Cup. It's rather we're worried about the way the managerial issue will change. Because history might bring his own philosophy. There's a possibility that... No, I don't think, I don't think the philosophies will change. Chris has been part of this. Yeah, team. he has been part. But when he's the main man to take the decision and say, I want this, I want that. Things that are hard on man, I said, okay, I want this. He's going to change that one. But... We have uh, Fena, he's done very, very well. Only 19 years going to 20 years, plays for the TR, A similar Anna Morino, and is able to be in that form. Let's try and encourage TV, him. TV. Remember that he's called Jan, uh, Jan, by the way. So that's how my Jan might be yeah, there. Yeah. The Wenchi thing is still there. We need to encourage him. He was able to mastermind and get his thoughts very well at the Babaya Astor Stables, facing over 40,000 people for the very first time playing for Blaster. This is a gentleman. How old is him? I think he's 19, getting to 20 years. Yeah, fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. If you we work have, on him, it'll be perfect. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs>